Hello everybody, my name is Chris Massive 58 and this is a video thing when we're going to get into Project E and try to do something about something. What that something will be, I don't know yet. Probably King Sheep up there because why not? I'm going to get everything set up and decide on what I'm actually going to do besides Project E, and we'll be right back. Alright, back to the whole Project thingy, E thing. We're going to make the good old-fashioned transmutation table, because we need one. It's pretty useful. We'll just slap that right there. And with this, we can convert stuff and the other stuff by doing that, so... We can teach stuff, we can burn it, get it back, stuff like that. Actually, I want some of these to be burned. And so we could teach that little table all of this stuff in here and probably convert stuff to another stuff. Because let's face it, we're probably never going to need that many rubies at all. And iron, or conductive iron, is kind of a pain. You know what else is a pain? Storage and sorting. Gotta take care of that. But how? And food. Still are not pooling in enough food. Thankfully there is this recipe. Which I can just cook this. Get a bread. And teach it to this. And oh, I don't know. Let's get a ruby's worth of bread. That was a lot less than I expected. Oh. <clears throat> there we go. Not hungry anymore for the time being. Can I do anything with this? Ah yes, and over here we have been, uh, or I have converted all the dirt and cobblestone, well, most of it, whatever I could reach, and that to stone. That way it looks a little bit better. Yeah, I'd say it looks a little bit better. What else was I wanting to do? I wanted to get a sorting system up. That is what I wanted to do. All this stuff is a pain in the butt to go through to find everything, and that's not fun. And I was thinking applied energetics. Problem is, we need to find some meteorites. And meteorites are a pain in the butt to find. That we don't have the materials to get meteorites. We're actually going to need a lot of stuff. Like steel tools. Because why not? Steel tools will really help out. So let's get ourselves a steel ingot from mechanism and. I don't know. Let's get about this much of it. Damn. Osmosium's worth a lot of EMC. That'll do. That'll definitely do. So we're going to make all steel tools, including a hammer, and probably a shovel.
not too shabby. Now we won't die as quickly. You, sir, can go away. Darn creepers. Taking a swim in my lake. Ocean. Probably a lake. Alright, so we're going to need this thing from Applied Air Logistics, which looks like a little compass. There we go, meteorite compass. We're going to need a charged surface court and some iron. And we're going to go on an adventure looking for the uh, stuff that we need for Applied Air Logistics. Yes. No. If I could only find my charged service course, there it is. There's a charged service course. Put that there. That, that, that. There we go. Meteorite compass. So we're gonna go off an adventure into the world. Hopefully not die or get killed by anything with... Probably will not happen. I say that now, but... I guarantee you later I'm going to end up eating those words. Which... Actually would be a whole lot easier if I just went out of the top of here and just... Ran. And the morning just started. Great. Adventure ho! There he is. There it is. So you know what, while we're out here, might as well grab two cobblestone and an apple. Make a devnol. And with said devnol, we're going to right click, stick this in here, and immediately void all the cobblestone that we have, because cobblestone is an inventory eater when you have a hammer. And creepers are two shits. Huh? What's this? Ah, oh, some poor unfortunate soul died here. Thanks for the torches. Yep. Not too shabby. We took out that meteorite, and now our little compass thing is going to point us to a new chunk that'll hopefully contain more meteorites. Alright, and we're back after two meteorites and a death. We have all four of the needed inscribing presses for applied energistics and then the good chest and almost half worth of sky stone. Because why not? Now then, applied energistics. We're going to need this. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look too hard. Uh, two sticky pistons and a flux crystal, which is made by throwing one of these. charge crystal along with some redstone inside of a water. A singular water. Which I should have some around here somewhere. There we go. Charged. And so if I actually organize my inventory, which I will be getting to Soon enough. First off, I'm gonna teach it to this. And if we take one, two, three, they combine and get me some flux quartz. Which, yeah. So we're going to need a pair of sticky pistons. I found some slimes on the way down there, and I do believe I've taught this. No, I've not. So 
So we're going to teach this thing pistons. So I don't have to make him ever again. I need an iron and a redstone too. So piston. Iron. No, that's a redstone. And the iron. Get us ourselves a piston. Learn that there. We stick a slime on top of that, get sticky piston. Teach that. Get two. And we can get one of these, which is right here. If we add more iron. Yep, the inscriber. The problem is we need power. How do we get power? Well, we get a power thing. And that power thing is called an energy acceptor, which is made from quartz glass. One of these fluorex crystals again. And, yeah, iron. So we're going to need some pulverize this. Five should do for now. Three, four, five. And you know what? Our little energy cell looks pretty damn low, so let's put a little coal in there. Should probably get like a solar panel or a turbine, just so I don't have to keep putting coal in there, but yeah, that actually would work. We did have some glass in here. Quartz glass. We have one set, and then our energy acceptor. There we go. Now then, I'm going to want a separate room for all of this. Do you know what? I think right here looks like a good idea. Alright then, we have our room built for our applied energistics area, or at least for all our storage and automating. Oh. So let me go and pick up my two machines, being uh, already in my inventory. We're gonna want to craft something else. That would be uh, one of these. Nay, so. Now that we're going to need more quartz glass. Which we have access to. And then. Quartz glass. Well, go that. Uh, 
If we look at this again, that was Blue Squad's death. Which we don't have Fluix crystals yet. So we're just going to burn some of these, grab some of these four, macerate them, and they're pulverize. Each other here. And go like this. Store itself for power. Now that I'm going to go up here and snag some power. Actually, yeah. what I should do is make an extra box. Not extra box, what were they called again? They're called cubes, which means more enriched alloys, which is iron and redstone. Tier 1. And tier 2. Now then we go up here, we take our wonderful energy cell from up here. If I press F7 again, because... There we go. Inspect it, it's full. I think we're supposed to... What happened to my inventory? You get one, two... Six, seven, eight. I think we can only pick this up with a pickaxe. Yeah. Then we set down another one right there. And he'll start collecting power again. But right now we have eight mega jewels of power. And this will continue to run as normal. switch that out back and forth and have a lot of power on the ready. So, for now, for sake of convenience, we'll stick get like this. Acceptor, battery, machine. And of course, this is draining ridiculous amounts of power while this is sucking up all that power, hopefully. Yep. yep. Now that's full with 200 kilo AE power. We can actually start using this for uh, whatever you want for AE purposes. So we're going to grab one of these. I should we're going to grab one of these. Come on. I'm going to grab a chest. We haven't taught this thing a chest. That's it. Okay. Grab all my presses as well. Eventually we're gonna make more of these for convenience purposes. Yes. Oh yes, right, we're going to need some sand. If we had sand. So we're just going to turn you off and get a good bunch of sand. Or at least we only need one. Now that I need this sand to make into silicon. And to get silicon. From sand, it was put it in a sack mill. We don't have a sack mill. Let's make a sag mill, because we're gonna need silicon. So a sag mill takes 
machine chassis, a piston, and like some flint and iron. We don't have flint in the machine. Nope. Wait. Right. There we go. We have our flint. Now we just need our machine chassis. Now, I think we have some materials for that in here somewhere. Somewhere. Like anything. Oh, we already have our machine chassis. Excellent. That's one less thing I have to do. How are we doing over here? Five, thirteen. Oh yeah, that was another thing I wanted to do. I wanted to get this thing up to par with the seeds. So I'm going to grab you. And... Get a few seeds. Because from what I remember... The more seeds in the ground, the more food we're going to get from there. And since we don't have that many seeds in the ground, we either wait a long time or we put more seeds in there. And I'm not going to wait a long time. Food's a problem-ish. I can fix it easily, but... I'm going to... Well, I don't like using a... Project D that much. Mostly because it's overpowered. I say that while I'm doing this. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more seeds than that. That'll do for now. So because I set it up a special way, all I have to do is that, and it'll just slowly get extracted into the planter up there. And then by magic, it will do the thing with the stuff. See, all planted. Could use more, but that'll definitely be enough for now. Okay then, so right, we have this box here. It took an entire mega jewel. That's okay. Let's teach us that so we don't have to do that ever again. And get ourselves a sag mill. Nope, I'm missing a step. What am I missing? A piston. There we go. And then. Sag mill. Did I drop something? Oh. That's weird. I guess the table just ate all my stuff, so... Should not use that table. Oh, it's over here. There we go, sag mill. And then, if we stick you here and give you some flint. Uh, that'll do for now. Stick the flint in here, stick the sand right there. See if I can get a chest for auto pulling and auto pusher. So input chest and why not make? 
make that both our input and our output chest. And we shall get both. That way. I don't do that. So now we have our silicon. Or oh, a fair bit of it. Once we get 32, we shall turn it Silicon chip thing things. Because why not? That's right. We need a hopper too. There we go. We got another hopper. Take that hopper, put it right here, because these things only do one at a time, which is silly. Just absolute silliness. So we're gonna start getting this. I think I'm gonna want another one. Yeah, that's like absurdly slow. Ourselves our supply of silicon. Now we're gonna need some chips because applied air logistics needs chips. I'm gonna start out with 16 of you and four of you. Each of these are gonna require some redstone when we're finished. So might as well go nuts with that now. Actually, we're going to need probably four of these. Yep. Four of them. It's absurd. So let's get that done. Right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the iron. So let's go like this. And we have these. In which now I can attempt to put these on here somehow. Even though we only have room for three. Which can be a little problematic. Unless we got a bit of cable. What kind of cable? Well, glass. Not glass, but. Flux cable. Made with one of these. So I need more quartz. More quartz. Fan freaking tech. I'm going to need a few of these as well. Yep, a pair of those should do for me. And then put that there. Take our quartz fiber and combine it with some of that. We've got our glass. Now we can power those machines too. Just stretch that out to there for now. For now. Looks like we're done with our silicon. Now then, what was I doing with the gold? Ah, uh, yes, that's right. We wanted some gold inscribers. Or some gold inscribing going on. So I'm going to remove this. Stick our logic one in there. That there, and that there. I 
I'm sure I can set this up all automatically and have it just work fan freaking fantastically, but I'm actually going to need my item ducks because this is ridiculous. This is plain ridiculous. Now then, my ducks. Actually, we're going to use filters too, yay! Some of these. For that, we're going to need paper. I say we're going to need a few of these, so 16 for now. I wanted not that. I wanted to check how long I was recording for, which is about 43 minutes. Yeesh. I think we'll stop the episode here and say we got stuff done. We've begun applied logistics and gotten the machines going. We even had a room built for it. Hell. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, okay, you enjoyed it. And in the next episode, hopefully I'll finish up the really basics of uh, Applied Air Logistics. And probably get this set up to where I won't have to keep switching these out. And it'll just be one simple and easy thing. So, goodbye.